as the greatest hoax of all time. My goal is to open your eyes and show you that this so-called global catastrophe is fabricated. Now before we can actually learn why global warming is fake, we have to learn a little bit more about it. Here is the sun, here is the earth, and there is the earth's atmosphere. As heat from the sun hits the earth, the heat gets trapped in the earth's atmosphere. The more CO2 and other greenhouse gases that us humans emit, the more heat that will be trapped in the atmosphere. This is the theory of global warming. In November 2009, a group of hackers released over a thousand emails from scientists that supported the global warming theory. These emails suggest conspiracy, exaggerating and manipulating data, and even physical threats to skeptics. This scandal is known as Climate Gate. Some emails even have the discussion of hiding what is known as the Medieval Warm Period. The Medieval Warm Period took place from 9,500 to 1,300 AD. Back then, temperatures were higher than they are today. If an era as warm or warmer than today did indeed happen 500 to 1,000 years ago, then it destroys the claim that any warming occurring now is due to human activity. So in short, global warming is a natural process. When climate scientists actually found out that the Earth was cooling instead of warming, they changed the name from global warming to climate change. Well, what about the amount of carbon dioxide or CO2 in our atmosphere? Isn't there a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Well, of the gases in the atmosphere, the amount of carbon dioxide is very minuscule. Only 38 thousandths of a percent. And only 3% of that is from us humans. That's not enough to cause any significant warming whatsoever. Okay, so we've proven that global warming is natural. It's not caused by humans. But why would someone want to make a fake theory about the environment? The theory of global warming was proposed by a German philosopher named Karl Marx. Marx is trying to spread the ideas of socialism or communism throughout the world. Brian Sussman, a former meteorologist, states that Marx created this theory to crush capitalism, the United States economic structure. Marx wanted people to believe that it is capitalism that is causing a global catastrophe. According to Sussman, the name started out as global cooling, and then to global warming, back to global cooling, then back to global warming, until they changed it to climate change, as previously mentioned. Climate change, as well as being a hoax to scare people into believing that the Earth is warming, is a way for people to gain money. Phil Jones is the director of the Climate Research Unit, and he received $19 million worth of research grants. Al Gore invested millions and gained even more millions in Earth-friendly green corporations. Our government promotes and funds green energy programs under the guise of climate change. Solyndra and other green companies went bankrupt after the government gave them millions in taxpayer dollars. Our government also butts into car manufacturing. It forces car manufacturers to make cars lighter, to use less fuel. But that, making cars lighter, drives up the cost. Also, the light bulb industry. The government mandates the spiral light bulbs called compact fluorescent bulbs. They use less energy, but they cost a lot of money, and they also contain toxic mercury. So in conclusion, I've told you that a major environmental theory is actually a myth, and I want all of you to spread the word. Tell people you know what you have learned so they can tell people that they know, and so on. There are many other problems in the environment, like pollution, wasting of resources, and animal extinction. Mankind should help the environment, but we should not be deceived in order to do so. Thank you very much.